Well, because things keep going toward the herd. What, like and clouds? Then, then are you, oh are you, do you need to return to the mental asylum? It started out like it was reasonable to name it gravity after dropping a bottle. You didn't expect a flat earther to point out how that's not true and are now unwilling to concede your incorrect notion that you need to name something that doesn't always happen. Fine, let's not, let, let's not name that gravity then. Let's name that name what? something else. Name what? What, specifically? Natural phenomena of what? Of density. Let's call that density then. Do you want some qualifying words and descriptive words alongside that? The alien balloon is like... Uh, Sorry, I already stopped you from making a new example. What do you mean we'll just call it density? That means nothing. It's just one meaningless word with no context. What is that that we're going to be calling density, according to you? D density is the fact that some object goes higher than others and some goes lower than others. Got two different densities of things in front of me, feathers and lead. Neither of them are doing All anything. Right. No, you are wrong. I can vary densities of things and they don't do anything. The word density alone means nothing. I don't know why we're discussing this. It means nothing to my world. How is this affecting the nature of my existence? Does anybody want to debate about well, the nature of Earth? Because it seems you're asking about naming things that don't happen and you haven't told us what's happening yet. Well, because you didn't let me. Every time I've tried, you've interrupted me and I didn't say a thing. When I said, yes, everything goes toward the herd, you talked to me about cloud and helium balloon. And you're right, clouds and helium balloon goes up because they are less, less dense than hair. But again, oil is less dense than water. And if you try to push oil inside water, it's going to go up but it's going to stop going up. It's the same for the alien balloon. Okay. Same for the clouds. That's fascinating. There's a reason, there's a reason clouds are not higher than they are. Who cares? Why are you telling us this? Who cares? Well, because things keep going toward the herd. What, like even, clouds? Even if, are you, oh are you, do you need to return to the mental asylum? Sorry, do clouds go towards the earth? Are you stuck in some yeah. cognitive loop where you need to interrupt me pointing out your stupid insanity? It, it's nonsense, mate. You're saying all things go towards the earth. I'll tell you why you need to do this. Because you're in a paradigm where you're on a spinning ball in a vacuum and you need us to be pegged to the earth with some force called gravity of all things go down. There isn't such an effect in reality. Beyond your fundamentalist religious belief in gravity, I don't have any stake, claim or requirement to describe it in any physical reality I have. doesn't mean anything to me. What it does mean is you've had to relinquish your force of down that holds you to a spinning water ball. Beyond that fundamentalist religious belief, this is meaningless to us. doesn't mean anything about our nature of reality.